Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am talking about how I personally structure my CrossFit workouts. As a little bit of background info, I've been doing CrossFit for about a year and a half now, almost two years, and I was once a certified personal trainer, so if you want to listen to me, great. If you don't, great. It's always best to gather all of your own information anyway and make decisions for yourself. Don't ever listen to one person, just wholly and completely. So I had a video like this a while back, so my structure has changed a little bit and then I'm going to be delving into the actual workouts themselves and what's included in them. So I like to work out six days a week and then have like an active recovery day. So I have the workout that I'm about to show you five days a week. And then on the sixth day, like Saturday, I either have a makeup day for a workout maybe I took a rest on, or I will try to do something outdoors that is physical, like going on a hike, or having a long bike ride, something like that. And then on Sundays, I do some recovery in the form of yoga, just so that my muscles aren't stiff and I'm working out tension, and you know, yoga is great for a variety of things. When I say that I skipped a workout, I do try to listen to my body still, even though I have a, a semi-rigorous workout routine here. If I'm really, really, really not feeling it, I will honor that and not work out that day. So I mentioned this in a previous video. This is the WOD book by ProFit. You do not have to have one of these, but this has been super helpful to me in programming my own workouts at home. It helps you like with record keeping and your body measurements, different lifts, how well you do on certain workouts. And probably most importantly for me, it has lists of the different workouts, different hero workouts that are good for traveling, ones that are running focused, that has tons of different workouts in it, and those have been awesome. So I don't always, always have to think of my own. And if I do want to think of my own, this book also has a little section in it where it has illustrated the different movements so that you can kind of pick and choose which ones you want to do. It doesn't have all of them, but it is helpful. And you can always look these things up too online. So a regular week for me looks like, and I'm gonna just, literally pull this right out of my book. On any given day, I like to have a warm up and a little bit of work on hip mobility uh, and hamstring mobility because those two aren't super great for me, especially hamstrings. And I like to do a little bit of conditioning. And for that, that's uh, four by six, four sets, six reps, um, five different exercises that focus on either upper front body, upper back body, core, lower front body, lower back body. So on Mondays, I do upper front body generally, and that's going to be shoulders, chest, biceps. Tuesday, I'm doing lower front body, so that's the way I kind of structure that is quads and then the inner thigh and outer thigh. Wednesdays is just core, abs, obliques. Thursday, uh, back upper body, so um, delts, all the rotator cuff muscles, uh, triceps, lats, and then finally Friday being uh, back of my legs, so hamstrings, butt, calves. Then after I do a little bit of conditioning, I like to transition to gymnastics. So I have an EMOM for this currently. I do five sets of five every minute on the minute, and I am just cycling through different gymnastic things that I want to work on, and that could be like handstands, push-ups, air squats, pull-ups, you know, uh, CrossFit gymnastics, just bodyweight movements. And then I do another EMOM where I'm working on strength, and I pick either of the three powerlifting movements or two of the Olympic weightlifting movements. So, and I try to change that up every week so I'm not doing snatch every time I'm doing core or I'm not doing you know, deadlift every time I'm doing upper body. I like to kind of keep it as mixed up as I can. Now that's another EMOM, five sets of five for clean and jerk, snatch, bench squat, or deadlift. Then I move on to a CrossFit workout. Now this is where I either take it out of the book or I write my own. And those are usually 15 minutes maximum for me. And then after that, I like to do 20 minutes of cardio. And sometimes I structure that kind of like a CrossFit workout, but I'll get more into that in a second. And then after all that's over, just some more mobility work, stretching out, and sometimes I do a little bit of foam rolling depending on how I'm feeling. So looking at this page, this is from the 11th of January. My workout was virtual Fran, so like a little bit of a Fran modification from this book. So 21159 structure, 
thrusters and push-ups and I did thrusters with just dumbbells that I had and push-ups just standard. 21-15-9 is a great way of creating your own CrossFit workout where you pick like two or three movements, do 21 reps of each and then 15 reps of each then nine reps of each and that's great you do it for time. And then there's also like AMRAPs, as many reps as possible where you set a time limit and then you pick a couple different movements that you want to do and you cycle through them as many times as you can before the time is up and you score yourself on how many reps you're able to complete. Then there's like chippers where you pick various different movements in a line and then you just do them all through one time. Or you can just have it simply rounds and reps. Here's something simple that I like to do if I'm having a hard time thinking of something is I do a five round workout and for the first movement I do 15 reps of something usually some sort of gymnastics and then 10 reps of something more cardio related like a burpee and then five reps of something strength related like a clean and jerk right so yeah virtual friend one day and then the next day i did that exact thing that i was just telling you about where i did five rounds of 15 box jumps 10 devil presses and five dumbbell push tricks and then for cardio sometimes it's just a 20 minute jog somewhere sometimes it's I do like an EMOM of 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off with jump rope and that's when I'm like at home and I don't have really access to do something else, maybe it's raining outside, lots of different factors, kind of the quickest and easiest thing that I can do. And then sometimes I set it up like a circuit or almost kind of like a regular CrossFit workout. Like here one day I have 15 burpees, 10 box jumps, and one stair climb because there is a staircase where me and my friends work at sometimes. Uh, I do three rounds of that and one minute rest in between rounds. Anyway, the most important thing that I would like to stress about how I create my own workouts and how I would suggest that you create your own workouts is variety. Keep it constantly varied, super mixed up. You never want your body to get too used to like one particular thing. Um, even when I'm doing my conditioning, the exercises I choose for that specific section of my workout are different every single time. I hope you got some good information out of that. If you have any questions, please leave them down below as well as any other topics you want me to talk about. I really appreciate you watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.